Hey, Shawnee, what's up? Oh, nothing. After that whole thing with Burke, just missing Stillwater is all. And Johnny. Yeah. And Johnny. Listen, we're doing this for him. He'd want that, right? Hell yeah, he would. He must be pissed he's missing all this. Hold on a sec. Hey, hey, hey! What the fuck? Sh Sh Shandy? Guess again. Shandy? When you have to rob a bank in order to pay for an apartment in downtown Steelport, one expects the comfort and security such a price should bring. However, several residents in downtown were surprised when a massive stag operation destroyed the penthouse loft on top of their building. Military planes, explosive devices, and enough firepower to occupy a small country were used in this latest example of Stag's fight against gang activity in the city. Commander Cyrus Temple has come... Pierce, I think we got a problem. How so? Shandy's been taken. Taken? Taken how? I don't know. I was on the phone with her when I heard the struggle and someone else picked up her phone. You think Kilbane got her? Sounded military. It sounded like stag. So what's the plan? Head to image as design. I got an idea. Is it any good? Does bold count? With you? No. This is the worst idea you've ever had. We can't go marching onto Stag's aircraft carrier. Why not? I look just like Cyrus, all I gotta add is a fucked attitude. What happens when you're on board? I walk in with my prisoners, they take me to the cell block, I grab Shandy and we leave. <laughs> I'm sorry, prisoners? Yeah, you and Pierce. <laughs> I'm bringing you in. Oh, hell no! Showtime. We'll need one of those stag transports to get out to that carrier. This is weirding me out. Okay, so we get to the carrier. What then? I take you prisoners to the brig where we find Shondi and get the hell off the boat. What if they just shoot us? You worry too much. What do you think? I look the part? Considering I want to stab your ass right now? Yeah, I'd say it works. Don't talk to your commander that way. I should slap that face right off you. Try it and I'm leaving you on that boat. <sighs> This isn't giving me any confidence.
you sure you got his face right? You know how often this guy gets on camera? I'm just saying. Yes, I'm sure. Okay? That's all I wanted. We'll need one of those stag transports to get out to that carrier. This is weirding me out. Okay, so we get to the carrier. What then? I take you prisoners to the brig where we find Shondi and get the hell off the boat. What if they just shoot us? You worry too much. What do you think? I look the part? Considering I want to stab your ass right now? Yeah, I'd say it works. Don't talk to your commander that way. I should slap that face right off. Try it and I'm leaving you on that boat. <sighs> This isn't giving me any confidence. You sure you got his face right? You know how often this guy gets on camera? I'm just saying. Yes, I'm sure. Okay? That's all I wanted. Drive into that shit. I fuck. Just go. You know, this is a good look for you. You should keep the face when you're done with it. Are you serious? Cyrus is very powerful and statuesque. You complained about a costume, and now you want the boss to run around with Cyrus's face? It was just a suggestion. Don't get all bent out of shape. Gotta get you two cut. We're almost there. This is a horrible idea. Just do it already. Look, you may be cool with wearing handcuffs, but this motherfucker ain't down with that. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you know. You ran a prostitution ring. So, clearly, I'm into kink. You carry a gun. Does that mean you like to be shot? No. So, how about we stop being a judgmental man-child? Okay. Prisoner. Quiet. Welcome back, sir. What's up? Uh, I need you to sign off on some prototypes I've been working on. Thanks for the offer, uh, you. But I want to process these two ASAP. I can take these two down to detention for you, sir. Thanks. What the fuck, man? Did <clears throat> you look at the commander? This way, sir. Lead on. So I was shot. 
the prisoner holding out. Has she said anything? We haven't broken her yet. Good girl. I I'm sorry, Commander? Sorry for what? No, I'm... It, it sounded like you said good girl. You're hearing things, soldier. I'm sorry, sir. No worries. <laughs> We're cool. Thank you, Commander. Sir, R&D has sent a prototype for a new vehicle. A jet-propelled cycle. No shit! Sir? I mean, it better not be shit like some of R&D's inventions. No, sir. It is top quality. What else have they cooked up? They have some improvements to our tank's weaponry. Should pack more firepower. Good, 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 good. And there's also portable satchel charges for the troops. Once we get to R&D, I'll need you to sign off on two projects. Looking forward to it.
This one's going in the book. We might have overdone it. Now we can focus on Kilbane. What about Stag? We just blew up an aircraft carrier. What else could they throw at us? You knew it would come to martial law, didn't you? I knew the Saints. How did Mayor Reynolds react? He'll fall in line. They all will. Keep me updated, Commander. Of course, ma'am. Sir, the commandos are en route. We'll have the whole city locked down in 72 hours. Outstanding. Thank you, Kia. Permission to speak freely? It's about damn time we took off the kid gloves. Two little words, Kia. Shock and awe.